It feels like hit and run accidents appear to be on the rise in St. Lucia. Just ask veteran cyclist Elvis Joseph, who is recovering from severe injuries after he was knocked down by a trailer truck that left him for dead. Joseph, who is an employee of C.O. Williams Construction and has been cycling since 17, claims that he usually rides his bicycle daily from his home in Denry to Bois where he works. However, his regular commute would take a turn for the worse on Wednesday, January 5, 2022, along the Badi Lil. Well, that truck was traveling up there with so much speed that when when he clipped me, my front wheel entered the gin. I fell towards the trailer. But me knowing that the trailer wheel has not passed me yet, I pushed myself quickly off the road that the trailer may not pass on my head. And then the trailer hit my backside, the right side, break my pelvic bones, rip my, 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 um, hit off from the spine, break three of my ribs, and then the trailer packed me on the wall because there's a bar at the back of the trailer that grabbed me in the drain and bruised me on the wall and packed the broken leg on the wall. Then I found myself kind of upside down on my hand and I looked at the trailer running away. The trailer truck never looked back, but the wife of the accident victim, who was informed of the vehicle's license plate number, alerted the family of the driver of the truck. Yes, they found the person. Normally, that truck would have parked on the highway. And after the accident, the driver drove that truck into the yard, and it was my wife who went into the yard with the number because my wife my wife called my daughter and she told my daughter to look out for a trailer, a yellow truck, it's coming down. Take the number of the truck. And my daughter took the number of the truck while it got passing Lakai. My daughter took the number and then my wife went to the yard of the people and told the father that the truck had hit the husband and then her husband is at the hospital. Then the father said yes. He sent the boy to make a report and at Richwa and Richwa police sent him to Castries. Elvis Joseph is saddened that the alleged driver of the trailer truck has not reached out to him since the accident. No assistance whatsoever. No assistance. They have not even not even the driver. In fact, I don't know that I've never seen the young maybe I've seen the young man and don't know who exactly was driving the truck. But what I find that is strange to me is that the young man has never come to the hospital to see me. You understand? Mm -hmm. It's like he hit a, a dog or a fowl or goat, something on an object on the road, and that, that, that's just it. Joseph claims that his pelvis and three ribs were broken in the accident. The cyclist says he is in excruciating pain after doctors applied a skeletal traction to help pull the bones into the correct position. He is appealing to truck drivers to give due consideration to cyclists on the roads. Elvis Joseph has been a cyclist for over 36 years and has represented St. Lucia in various races at home and abroad. Gina Filippi, HCS News Force.